Before we get started with the first episode of Season 2 of the Depression Baby Podcast, just a reminder that you can get the complete audiobook of Ray's book, Depression Baby, free, along with a free month of Audible, the world's premier source for entertaining and interesting audiobooks, at raybrogers.com forward slash audible. And now, on with the show. Depression Baby. Stories about growing up in Appalachia and other things, too. With my dad, Ray B. Rogers. On August 16th, 1929, I came into this world kicking and screaming. I reckon that made me a Depression Baby. Depression Baby is a World Songs media production. Brought to you by Depression Baby The Book. Available in Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. And soon audiobook at raybrogers.com. Today, for the premiere of Season 2, we get a sneak peek of Ray's next book, which, as you may have heard in the last episode, just might be called Up From Hanging Dog. When I tell people I was born in a three-room shack, Without indoor plumbing in a little corner of western North Carolina called Hanging Dog, they must think I've led a miserable life. But that's not true. I didn't know we were poor. We were surrounded by people that had even less than our family. Our poor neighbors up Halltop Road didn't have a large garden with fresh vegetables. They didn't have chickens and ducks and fresh eggs. They didn't fatten a hog or two to supply ham and sausage for breakfast. They didn't enjoy fresh milk and home-churned butter like we got from our two cows, Buttercup and Old Horny. We didn't talk about being poor, but by today's standards, we were. We didn't know how lucky we were that the Lord had supplied us with healthy, organic food. But we didn't forget to thank Him. Dad returned thanks at almost every meal, and he remembered to acknowledge those who prepared it, mostly Mom, with some help from us kids. Dad once asked the youngest of our brood to say the blessing. Sister Dale was about three or four years old. She had been taught a proper blessing, but the cheerleaders at a recent football game had really impressed her. Her blessing went like this. Big dog, little dog, flop-eared pup. Come on, Waynesville, eat em up. My friend Sheldon wrote in one of his books that I was born in a cabin. When I said I was born in a shack, he told me that cabin sounded better. But that wasn't hanging dog, where shacks prevailed. In fact, these shacks were my grandfather Medford's retirement plan. He rented them for $10 a month. I've said that when you are born in a three-room shack on Hand Dog, the only way to go is up. I didn't know my school teacher father would light in me a burning desire to go to college. I watched my father set an example as he went from a teaching job at 19, making $35 a month, to eventually become president of the North Carolina Education Association. My mother didn't get to finish her schooling since her mother, Maggie, died young. Mother had to raise her younger siblings in addition to her own family of six children. She always regretted not having a better education, and I felt her pain. I've always been very independent. Seeing unemployment and poverty up close during the Great Depression, I wanted to ensure that I would never be in a dependent position. I decided that I must further my education. I would go up from hanging dog. We 
hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Depression Baby. And if you did, my dad has one important request. If this podcast brought a little smile to your day, would you please consider right now subscribing for free to the podcast and kindly leaving a nice five-star rating and review on iTunes. You can make the difference in getting Depression Baby in front of a wider audience and help preserve this disappearing legacy. Also, you can get the entire audiobook of Depression Baby, the complete stories, for free at rabyrogers.com forward slash audible. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E. Thanks to our audio and musical contributors, including our friend Lobo Loco. You can find out more about him and all the rest of the music and audio in the show notes at, you guessed it, rabyrogers.com. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time on Depression Baby.